So the other day I had a very interesting interaction with ChatGPT. I have been using ChatGPT for different reasons and for different purposes. And one of them that I have been using is also to actually help me create the descriptions for videos and finding out the title for the videos that I have created in YouTube. And the other day I had a very interesting interaction with ChatGPT when I was asking about uh, giving what was the context of my video, or wanted to give the context of my video, but I was explaining that, hey, I would like you to help me please with creating a description for a video. And without actually telling what the video was about, ChatGPT right away started telling me what should be the description of the video. But uh, hold on, I, I, I have not even told you what the video is about. So it was kind of a funny thing that we are nowadays taking ChatGPT a little bit too much for granted. It, um, and it does some things really well, but, but it also does some other things not that well. Uh, of course, there's the first one that many people probably are talking about is that well, basically what ChatGPT is just doing is just taking what it finds there in the internet or whatever it's connected, the database that it's connected to, and it just masters it into one thing, like a, you know, a mix of all the results that you see out there in the internet. So it's not creating necessarily new knowledge as such, which, okay, you could argue that that's anyways what we are doing ourselves when searching in Google and maybe sometimes investigating, researching and so on. But the other one that for me was really kind of eye-opening is that ChatGPT is jumping to solutions right away without understanding the problem. And that is very concerning. Because basically what it started was it started to tell me what the description for the video could be when I wanted to just ask for it to help me giving the description. Maybe my phrasing was not the best. I say something like, I have already asked for a video in the same chat. And I said something like, so yet another YouTube video, I will need some help for the description and so on. Um, relevant hashtags and stuff like that. And basically it just started telling me a description for a video without me telling what the video was about, what the topic was about, giving it also a description of the video and outline and so on. That is typically what I would do. Because whether we like it or not, probably ChatGPT is better at writing than I am. <laughs> That's just the reality. And uh, so basically I, I had to ask it that, hey, please hold on. I was like, okay, no, take your time. Let me know when you're ready. It's like, uh, it's like you already told, started writing without uh, understanding even that I already had this video done. So I don't need you to tell me an idea for a new video. So that was kind of a funny interaction and something that I found a little bit uh, surprising and actually find it very surprising that that... And this is something for OpenAI people. If somebody from OpenAI is watching this, please, I would ask you to really think what is the goal or maybe clarify what is the goal of ChatGPT. Uh, because many people are using ChatGPT as an assistant. And if you don't think that the role of ChatGPT is to be an assistant, then sorry, you're doing something wrong. Because the perception of the tool is that it's an assistant. If you, think that it's, if you don't think that it's an assistant, then, then there is a mismatch of what you're thinking that the tool is and what people think the tool does. Um, so I'm not trying to say that you're doing a bad job or anything. It's just that maybe there's a misalignment. And if it's an assistant, it's very concerning that an assistant is jumping to solutioning without understanding the problem. Because that's what exactly here ChatGPT was doing. And it's very easy for many people then, okay, in this case, it was very obvious that I haven't even told what the video was about, but I'm pretty sure in some other cases, people might be asking something and ChatGPT starts to give a suggestion of whatever, a solution, without really understanding the problem. And I'm pretty sure that the people in OpenAI understand really well what product discovery is. So I guess that they do. 
I really don't know because I don't know anybody there. Uh, but I don't doubt that they wouldn't. But the way that the tool is working, the actual chat GPT is not trying to discover what the problem is. Just try to spit some solution. And I know that most of us don't want to fill up questionnaires because that feels like a survey. But if ChatGPT is not trying to engage and understand better what our problem is, most likely the solution that it's going to give us is wrong. So basically, the funny thing is that then I started to interact with ChatGPT as a more like a human, as I would do with a human. And I started to say that, hey, I need to tell you something is that when you started writing without understanding what the problem was, you tried to jump into solution without understanding the problem I was trying to solve. It basically answered me that I apologize if it's in that way. As an AI language model, I tried to provide helpful suggestions based on the information provided. So, but that's not true. I didn't provide all the information. So you are just bringing suggestions without understanding my problem. So, you're trying to be helpful without trying to understand the problem. And that's a problem on itself. But I have to admit, one thing that they had done really well is that generally ChatGPT is very polite, even if it was trying to throw, throw the ball back at me. Um, but anyways, I was just kind of complaining a little bit there that, hey, that's a little bit of lack of product discovery and understanding and taking, um, and that some people can take those answers in a wrong way, that those can be misleading answers. And actually then it kind of admitted that yes, product discovery is very important and that, well, kind of we will try to do its best. Actually saying there, and this is important, that he or she or it doesn't have the ability to actively act, uh, gather information like a human product manager or a designer would do. And this is a very fair point. Uh, and, but this is something that people should understand, that ChatGPT is not the assistant that you think it is if it's not trying to understand your problem. But at least it promised me that, or promised me, say that it will keep this in mind for future interactions and always happy to work with you to understand your needs better before providing any solutions. But funnily enough, before finishing this video, I want to say one thing. I asked ChatGPT if or how it would feel if I would do a video uh, of the interaction that we have uh, between each other when he was jumping into solutions. But it, it basically said that, yes, I think it's, uh, uh, in general, it's always good to strive for better communication and understanding of all, in all aspects of life, including problem solving. If you believe that creating a video on that topic can help promote better communication and understanding, then it may be value, a valuable contribution to your audience. And I also said that, hey, this could be probably potentially important for the people working in OpenAI. And it said, answer me, that that's a great point. As an AI language, my responses are based on the patterns and data I have been trained on. And I can always learn and improve from feedback and interactions with humans. If you create a video on the topic of improving communication with AI language models like myself, it may be valuable for both your audience and the developing developers working on AI technologies. Thank you for considering this topic. So actually, ChatGPT was a very helpful and very polite in their interaction. So something that I want to point out and something that I would like to share and for people to understand that when you are having interactions with ChatGPT, ChatGPT tends to jump to solutions like this. So if you have, want to have a good interaction with ChatGPT, you want to make sure that you lay out all the potential implications and background information on the problem that you are trying to solve. Try to feed it as much information, then the output that you are going to get is going to be much more reliable. So something that to pay attention to, and something maybe also that I think that the people in OpenAI should consider is that really, if you want ChatGPT to help people, ChatGPT also should understand better the problems that it's trying to help or the problems that it's trying to tackle. And at this, in this interaction, and sometimes in other interactions, it is clear that it's jumping to very quick solutions and very generic solutions 
without ever trying to dig in deeper into what the problem is. And if you have read the book from Eric Rice, there's the five whys that you should ask before you actually understand what is the root cause and the problem uh, that you are trying to solve. Anyhow, if you want to support the channel with all the things that I'm doing here, uh, please go and check out the resources pages that I have created and put in my uh, website. I will link them in the description and in the pinned comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. And remember, stay safe.